This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this video, we will be showing you how to split screen using Kden Live. I decided to start with quad screen and then move on to split screen in this Kden Live video because there may be a possible glitch in split screen. After placing all four videos, in your Arcadian Live timeline, click on your project window, go to tracks, and then to configure tracks and change audio one to video. In Arcadian Live, it is time to split screen some video. So bring up your transition list, grab the composite transition, and place it between the first two videos. If it drops in the wrong spot, move it where you need to and stretch it all the way. Leaving this highlighted in Kdn Live, you can resize this to 50%. Notice in this view, while split screen editing in Kdn Live, I'm not seeing the proper video there are two things going on here in Kdn Live. First, Kdn Live video track is set to auto. This must be set to the video I want to appear. Secondly, in my Kdn Live timeline, one of my videos are a bit too long. So let's shrink it. Notice we can see the proper video in 50% state in Kdn Live. Then go to your effects list and grab a pan and zoom and drop it into the video 2. In Kdn Live, this brings up another sizable window. Just drop to 50%. The reason I started with a uh, quad uh, screen, by the way, in the first, in this Kdn Live video, is on my practice run of learning, I started with four videos in Kdn Live. That video had went fine, but after making the split screen in Kdn Live is when the glitch occurred. Notice how highlighting was not enough. I had to click the title bar here in Kdn Live. Also keep in mind, I found the making of split and quad screen was taxing my system. Next, you grab the video and move it where you like in Kdn Live, split screen. But pan and zoom, put, put a pan and zoom into the third video and make sure it is pushed, your video is pushed over. Notice keeping extra video in video 1, 2, and 4 that you can razor out on your final render in this quad split screen method. Two things to notice here on our number four video in this Kdn Live quad split screen is notice how it says video one instead of audio one. This must be renamed in, in order to do this in Kdn Live highlight audio one backspace and re, re, just rename it to video four. And Drop a pan and zoom into video 4 and move this to 50%. Then place two more composites between 2 and 3 as well as 3 and 4. In Kdn Live split screen, 
Now, here are two end results. Notice it, notice it is like I have five videos, number five being black, which does show up in my track menu in KDN Live. While creating split screen in KDN Live, you must create a color clip, and I chose to create a black one that I think is causing the glitch. If it is one, or if this is just my human error, for example, mismatching videos, or perhaps the order format is wrong. In any event, let us move on to split screen and KDN Live. Drop in your two videos on your Acadian Live time, timeline. And by the way, this is a great time to remove audio if you wish. Click your project menu at the top of your Kdn Live timeline and click Add Color Clip and choose the color you desire. I chose black, of course. First, trim all the video to an equal amount on your Kdn Live timeline. Then grab your color clip, placing in the number three video section and stretch it to the length of the, of the other videos in order to split screen in KDN Live. Next in KDN Live, click your transition menu, grab a composite, set it between one and two video, stretching it all the way. Not knowing yet if this is a glitch, it did appear after creating this black color video in Kadian Live, uh, remembered it, and I think was auto inserting it into my quad video, but more testing must be done. In, K in Kadian Live, place another composite between video 2 and color clip video 3. In stretch, make sure your video make sure your video is on the right track. Canadian Live, if you're a gamer and want to do documentary, you can resize using the, the bar technique. For best results in Canadian Live, using this method, it is highly advised you should shoot expecting to split screen. For split screen in Canadian Live, just leave your video whole and move the first video to the appropriate area. Then move on to the second one and move it to the area that fits your needs.
I hope you have enjoyed this video. And like I said, this supposed glitch needs to be studied for determination. Whatever the case in Kadian Live, if it is a human error, a glitch, you know, or if there is a different procedure and I discover this, I will make a follow-up video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And by all means, visit us at our website at httpgrepax.com. The intro and extra to this video was provided by Alex Abay one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.